to the boxing arena now. And this is the next fight, another Northern Ireland fighter. This is Stephen Ward and describing it, Jim Neely. This is his eighth Commonwealth Games as a commentator. And Jim, you could never have imagined a, a absolute glut of medals for Northern Ireland fighters like this. Yeah, I, I would never dream, John, as you know, and you've known me for a long time, of wearing my heart on my sleeve. But it was a pint of the black stuff to be had tonight. I'm more than happy to let you buy it. But a good start by the man in red, the 25-year-old Simon Vallely, the uh, English heavyweight in this final, against the less experienced Stephen Ward from Northern Ireland. Vallely had two very impressive wins by stoppage against opponents from the Isle of Man and the Cameroon. Didn't have to box in the semi-final because his Ghanaian opponent got injured and pulled out at the last minute. And uh, Stephen Ward has had a pretty tough in his second contest. He beat Manpreet Singh of India who was given two warnings and conceded four points and had a hard one against the hard-punching Stephen Simmons of Scotland in a semi-final. And Ward coming back now to Valley, but Valley is looking very good and very confident and, and boxing well very nicely, Richie. Yeah, this is a, a tough test for young Stephen Ward. No question of that. He's got one on the board, but Valley is very content, you, you see, to sit on the back foot, let his opponents come but his punches are very quick. He's got a great right hand for Lily. He's also got a very good left hook. He brings his opponents on. There it was, there to the body. That's a good shot. That's a hurtful punch from Villili. Yeah, he scored with a good left to the head, and then the left of the body was a bit low, and the referee told him off about that. You've got to keep those punches above the waistline, which is conveniently picked out in the white band on the shorts. 5-1 then to the Englishman at the start of this. Middle counter by Stephen Ward is just getting bullied ever so slightly. Valerie looking strong and purposeful. Yeah, that was a good punch there. Oh. He's brought the standing count, but that was a cracker. Ward's in a wee bit of trouble. England, a member who got uh, five gold medals in, in Melbourne. Is he stopping oh, it? Oh, he, he is going to stop it. Oh, that's a bit early. It's a bit early. He's entitled to stop it. And Stephen Ward will be hugely disappointed with that. And Simon Vallely has won all three contests inside the distance. He had a walkover in the semi-final when he was fancied to win it by stoppage anyway. And the big punching Stephen Vallely from uh, Simon Vallely, I should say, from the South Bank Amateur Boxing Club in Middlesbrough, where he's coached by Dennis Parr, who'll be delighted with that. It was a spectacular finish. The legs were all over the place. And to be fair, looking at that again, it was a solid and definitely a contest-ending punch because Ward's legs just simply wobbled and I don't think he was going to get back. So, ultimately, in the cold light of day or the cold light of an Indian afternoon, that was a very good decision by the referee from Turkmenistan. But what a way to win a Commonwealth game gold, Games gold medal. He was always fancied for this and certainly his performances in the early contest indicated that this man was a big puncher. Decision of about number 280 in the 91 kilogram weight category by referee stopping contest due to head in the first round. Winner in the red corner, Simon Bellamy from England. A second gold medal for England and the most spectacular and Stephen Ward gives a, a rueful grin and knows he was uh, completely outpunched. That was a cracking shot to finish it. But the signs were that Valerie was uh, teeing his man up. Stephen Ward goes away, will shake his head knowing that he's got a, a silver medal. So Northern Ireland finished with three golds and two silvers. England with two golds and three silvers. Not quite the return that Rob McCracken would have anticipated. But certainly nothing wrong with the performance of Simon Vallely in that final. Question is now, he's 25 years of age, Richie. What does he, what does he do in terms of his career? Oh, he goes on to the Olympic Games. That's what he should be doing. That was, it was a lovely shot that ended the contest. It was a short left hook. The right hand just finished it off when the referee was about to jump in, but it was the left hook that did all the damage. He's a big puncher. He's cruised through this Commonwealth Games, to be quite honest with you. He had nothing, everything that's come in front of him He's uh, swept, swept aside, so yeah, he has got a big future, but it's very important. He stayed in the podium squad and he goes to the Olympic Games.